Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. Oh, I've got my glasses on today, I'll keep those on for a minute. Um, back with you for another instalment. I hope you're liking these so far. Adventures in my sewing room this week. Um, yeah, just another, another week of, um, yeah, what I've been up to, what I've been making, where my thoughts are at. And I've got a few things to share with you today. Some are um, sort of makes and plans and some are completed items. Um, I, I will say to you um, that I haven't necessarily sewn these in the week I've videoed them. So please don't think that in the last, what is it, three weeks, I have created all of these items. Some of these items have been um, languishing on the side of my sewing room. For a few weeks. It is true that I have made all of these items um, over the course of the last few weeks uh, or, and months if I'm honest but um, I'm looking at, the, at the, <laughs> looking at some of the things thinking no I, I have genuinely made these things um, but I don't feel like I've been sewing a great deal. You're now shaking your head thinking that, that cannot be true. I hopefully, hopefully you've been watching for the last three weeks and you'll be like say what? You've sewn a lot. Um, <laughs> so have a word with yourself, Cara. But um, yeah, I haven't necessarily sat and sewn the things I'm showing you this week, but I'm showing you various things over the course of the week, and they have been in my sewing room this week. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Enough waffle. So I have to talk to you about this outfit that I'm wearing now, and this probably more importantly actually this wonderful fabric i'm lucky enough to be a minerva ambassador um, and uh, each month they send a list of fabrics that you can work with now i'll be honest some months the list just doesn't contain anything that catches my eye um, although i am truly inspired by those that get to choose some fabrics um, and, and make some absolutely wonderful things with with them However, I was lucky enough to be at the right place at the right time um, when an email came out a number of months ago now to say, very exciting news, we have a viscose chalet um, that is available um, as an exclusive design to, for Minerva. Um, and would you like to try some? And I was like, ooh, yes please. And then they sent a link to the wonderful collection of fabrics that um, came out. Now, um, as I film this, neatly I've completely forgotten um, the name of this fabric, so I'm going to put that across here. I believe it's something like Babylon Art, but I don't want to get that wrong. Um, and it is in this absolutely stunning blues, turquoises, turquoises, sorry, red abstract design fabric. Um, and I have made another Saguaro set. Um, I think this is my third, maybe second, no, second set. How many have I made of these? Two. Yeah, second one, I think. I uh, just love it. I'm going to knock my microphone. I just love it. You know I love this design. I'm still on the fence about the gap, although I'm quite comfortable with it. Um, I definitely have got the elastic better in this one. It's much looser. I actually half the size of the waistband um, on the bottoms because the really wide waistband just wasn't doing it for me. Um, and actually, I can wear these, the waistband, the, the bottom's quite high, and the top is, I, I did elongate the top a little bit, I'm sorry you can't hit, see my head whilst I'm talking to you. The crossover I have increased, I lengthened it slightly, and as I say, the, the trousers sit really high-waisted on me, just to give me that option to pull that down if I'm, um, if I'm not feeling it. Um, and some, some people are really wearing that very well, um, and... Um, it's got beautiful pockets, it's full length. Uh, oh, look at the fabric, please take in the fabric. The fabric is amazing. It, this is the loveliest fabric, genuinely. Oh, it's silky soft, very drapey, an absolute dream to work with. And for those of you who made the saguaro, you know it comes together really quickly. The bias bound neck comes together, just an absolute treat. And can I confess to you, I know I say I don't sew a lot, this fabric turned up. I got home at about half past four. This fabric was sitting um, on the table. I didn't pre-wash it. <gasps> I know, I didn't. I cut straight into it 
Now I don't actually remember ever doing that before, but I saw it, I needed to make it so that I could wear this outfit out on the same evening. I know, you heard that correctly, do not adjust your TV set, it's absolutely true. I made this outfit, started cutting it out at half past four, and I was wearing it at a Morris dancing um, a display. Not, I wasn't Morris dancing, although I did actually have a go at Morris dancing. But I was wearing it at a local pub um, by half past seven in the evening, including travel time. I know, it's crazy, but true. Um, I just had to make it. And you know what, the, the most random thing other than that is I have worn this outfit every Friday night for the last three, three weeks. So I need to wear something else. <laughs> Um, it just it is the outfit I've reached for because the legs are wide and drapey, the evenings have been really quite warm, I wanted something loose to wear. So if you're off to hotter climbs I can honestly tell you that this fabric from Minerva is awesome in warm evenings because I just have not felt the heat at all and this wide style here, these lovely open sleeves and so on, I just love it and this colour, wow. It's, yeah, love it. And I, do you know what? I don't, I, I don't actually wear. I haven't ever, ever really been drawn to blue. That's not true. Up until about twenty-five, blue was my main colour. Sorry about the seagulls again. Um, uh, but I love it. I really like it. And you know, I made that Andrea from the Being Beyond the Pink Door. She had a beautiful blue fabric. I wore, wore that and love it. The Nova jumpsuit. That's blue. The Emma blouse. That's blue. So I must be going through a blue phase right now, but I love the pop of red. Oh, I, can't, I cannot speak highly enough about this fabric. I was kindly gifted three meters, um, and I managed to make the saguaro set out of it, but I also, I didn't make an Emma blouse. <laughs> My other stash busting top is the silk cami by Sew Over It, and I made a silk cami um, out of it. Now obviously this, the title of that is, this isn't silk obviously, I made bias bound edges um, out of the self self binding fabric. I'm really sorry about the seagulls. I hope you can hear me okay. So I bias bound the edges. Um, this actually comes with an all in one facing, which is a lovely way to finish it. But obviously I didn't have enough fabric for that. And in the past I've used bias binding on this. I also bias bound the edge, um, the, the hem on this. It's got a lovely curve to it. Um, I think you can just about see that there. And what that does is gives me the flexibility to um, to wear this outfit with this top, but obviously mix and match it. I, I'll be honest, I haven't I haven't actually worn the trousers with a different top or the top with the different trousers, um, or even had the chance to wear this with something different yet. Um, just because I've I've got so many other clothes to wear. <laughs> That's the honest truth. I think you might have noticed that. I do have a lot of clothes, um, but I love them. So I'm super lucky um, and just absolutely adore this. Um, and I will make sure I link to the fabric down below, which I don't actually always do. I'm sorry, I don't always do links, but um, I definitely you know, head over to the Manova site. And I have been fortunate enough to be able to choose um, at least one more future fabric um, out of the um, the exclusive fabrics from Minerva. So I don't know about that because it's not coming for a number of months yet. But oh, it's just lovely. I just, oh, look at it, look at it. Um, and then also it's sticking with Minerva and that's just complete coincidence that today, this week's episode is quite Minerva based. Um, it wasn't planned that way particularly. Um, because this one, this choice was months ago, I'm going to say three, maybe four months ago, because it was a pre-order, they hadn't even finished the design of it yet, just got the samples, and we all waited months for it to arrive. And in previous, in, in a month since, I haven't ordered anything at all. But last month, um, I got a list, and they added something new to it, which was a remnants bundle. So a mystery, a mystery bundle of fabrics. Um, using X designer fabrics. So you get five meters of X designer fabrics of which you don't know what they're gonna be. So they do say in the description, it could be Lady McElroy, it could be John Caldor, um, and, and a couple of other names of which escaped me. So I thought, do you know what? That would be a really nice thing to do. Um, I, I have, I've only done the mystery, um, so I've only done the subscription box for Andrea once. Um, and I really enjoyed the creative process of not knowing what was coming. So I, um, 
I thought, yeah, I'll go for that. And um, yeah, and, and this is what turned up. So I have done a video of the um, of the opening, um, which is over, uh, will be over on the Minerva site as part of my um, my uh, obligation as a, a Minerva ambassador. Similarly, there will be a blog about my experience of sewing with this fabric and my views on this. That is also over on the Minerva blog and will be by the time you watch this. Um, so the mystery bundle turned up um, and these are the fabrics that were in it. So, because um, it's five meters, so the first fabric that turned up is this one. And this is a cotton sateen um, in this beautiful, it's like peachy coffee um, and then blues and greys circle design. Um, and I reckon I've got a, a, a meter of this one. Um, so this is quite a stable fabric. It's not got much drape to it. Um, it is a cotton sateen, um, not, not any particular stretch, um, but lovely colors in there, really delicate. Um, and I can definitely see that being turned into a nice simple top. You've got it's almost black, it's sort of a charcoal um, accent in, in that stripe there. And then this one is a John, Dow, John Caldor fabric. Um, but yeah, it's, and, and again, look at that, you can play with the direction of the, uh, the sort of stripes there, if you like, which I think is really exciting. So I haven't got anything particularly in mind for this one at the moment. Um, but if you can think of anything, please do drop me a, um, a note in the in the comments. That would be very exciting. Um, so I've now got some pigeons. I've got my doors open because it's quite warm um, to, into my summer house. And I've got pigeons flapping around, so um, can't complain. It's just nature doing what nature does best. So that was the first one, which is very exciting. The next one, um, I do hope you're going to be able to see all right because it is a panelled fabric. Um, what I'll do actually, I'll put I'll put the photo, if I move to the side, I'll put the photo of, um, I'll put these straight out onto the washing line because I did wash these ones. Um, I put it on the washing line and then posted it on Instagram. Um, and people had some wonderful suggestions for this fabric. Um, it is this glorious, and I'm just going to cover myself up completely. I hope you can see that. It is a glorious panel print um, in this luxurious silky satin fabric. Again, this is a John Caldor, um, and I reckon I've got uh, probably about a meter and a half, maybe I'd uh, probably be like a meter, and um, maybe just over of this. So effectively one panel, I think. Um, and it really has got my creative juices flowing. Now, I think my husband's just come home, so he's bound to crash into into the videoing zone because he doesn't know I'm videoing. The whippets are all going to go mad. But look, if I stand up and if I hold that up against me, look how lovely that would look as a dress. Oh my god, so literally you have cream on this side and then the purple flowers on this side. I think that is super exciting as, as, a, as an option. Yeah, you can see it quite well there. Um, and I think you can hear my husband singing and I think and dancing a little something I'm not sure yeah no that's the that's the whippet saying hello um so i did wonder about making this into a salt water slip dress uh, they've been doing the rounds a lot the wonderful tamlin from so on our time the wonderful rachel oh here we go it's chaos chaos happening out here now um <laughs> that's the husband following uh, shortly followed by a whippet um, so, it's a water dress um, by F Friday Pattern Company, really simple design, of course Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door has made one well, and hundreds of other people, um, all of which inspire me, and so I just thought maybe that would be a good opportunity, um, and I actually bought some silk bias binding, um, I didn't explain to you about silk bias binding in another outfit, but anyway, um, I, yeah, I thought that would be quite nice. Someone else suggested a kimono, which I also thought would be pretty special. Um, oh my word, but it's beautiful, isn't it? How lucky is that? To get that in a mystery bundle, I think is pretty cool. So let me know what you think as well. I would be really interested to hear what you think. And then it's a little bit static actually, so I need to, um, I need to spray it with something to stop that. And then the final fabric, um, I'm gonna cheat because I have already made this into something. But the final fabric, which you can see on, on the picture, is this glorious um, sil uh, red sateen. 
Um, this is a, a glorious red sateen. It's got this wonderful big flowers, um, big flowers all over it. And <laughs> the eagle-eyed amongst you will recognise this is in fact another pair of Sophia trousers. Um, so I literally started making these last night and I've almost finished them. So that's the simplicity of it. Look, you've got a waistband. So I've over, sorry, I'm knocking into my microphone there. I've overlocked top. Um, I've literally folded it over just once even. I've popped pockets in it. Um, and I've just got to hem, hem the bottom there. And I'm also, I had enough of this one. So I had about a meter of those two. And then the, this final fabric I had uh, three meters of I reckon or slightly less than that maybe two and a half so there was definitely enough to make a top and a pair of trousers out of this and there's very little left over and the top that I have cut out which I can't show you is the cowl neck um, top by sew over it well, in fact it's actually a cowl neck dress if I can I'll find the stock photo and pop that there um, but I just thought cowl neck tops because the drape on this is stunning so a lovely cowl neck and then a matching bottoms gonna look like a faux jumpsuit with all the um, much easier access um, than a jumpsuit and you know I love a jumpsuit so oh what do you think guys I just love it um, I don't think I've even put a, no I haven't even put a label in here yet because the thing I've discovered with Sophia trousers it's really hard to see to tell which is the front and the back particularly if you've overlocked your notches on your front and back crutch curve so I've just put a pin in the front here at the moment to remind me which is the front and the back. I'm not even sure if it makes much difference, but it must do because the back is cut to fit your bum effectively. But these are slightly longer and these are the full width of the trousers because I had enough. So they're going to be much more floaty and drapey. I'm really looking forward to, to, to finishing those, which I will do this weekend, I think. So I hope you enjoyed that. Another sort of adventure in um, you know, view of what's happening um, and a lot of this actually is quite recent. Um, as I said at the beginning of the film, don't panic, I haven't actually been doing this all the time. But um, it is true, I have been sewing quite a lot. Hello, have you had dinner now? Hello, half a waffle. So I just had a whip it turn up. Um, it's very huffy and puffy. So I'm sorry, she's right, she's at microphone height there. So I'm sorry if you can hear more of her huffing than I can, <laughs> than you can, can me speaking. I'll leave it there before it descends into any more chaos. Um, and I hope you've got some great plans um, for the weekend. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next week with more adventures in my sewing room. Okay, take care everyone. Stay safe and well. Bye-bye.